Good morning you beauts, it's 20 past 8 in the morning and we're back out trying to find uh, find some treats, get rubbish out, see what we can get out today. We are still continuing the series of um, the demolished mill at the side of the canal and I'm going next to the place where I found the till and CCTV unit so I'll put a thumbnail up here. There we go, let's find some trees. Right you beauts, I'll start off by showing you these gloves that I got off Amazon. There we go. And apparently um, they're like slash resistant as well. So we'll give these a whirl today. Treat ourselves, this is good as well because it comes all the way up to your wrist so you've got that protection as well um, yeah size 10 babies extra large these are we've got a new folding bucket because my other folding bucket broke so we've got two folding buckets on the go and you guessed it we're on the G90 we're gonna do a quick edge dip first when we get set up and probably do I don't know we'll spend a good morning out here I think it's a nice morning we'll just see what we can do today where if the cart gets full we'll go if not we'll just carry on yeah it goes all the way up to your, all the way up your wrist so you can just lock that baby off you got a bit more protection so I think we did up to about here so I'm just going to overlap it a foot do an edge dip all the way up to the buckets And just see what's going on. I can see little bits in there, but they might be just stones. It's quite clear this morning. Anyway, we'll do our trusty edge dip. Because we've definitely not gone into this territory. It's already feeling a bit heavy, but that could just be because there's loads of weeds down here. Never know, do you? Right, we'll do up to the buckets. Just let me know what the crack is. Right. See what we got on our edge dip. Well, that's a curved bit of something, isn't it? We'll have that. I think that's just a nut, but we'll have a look. And smeg. Right, so we'll do an overlap again. I started about here, didn't I? So let's get it out there. Let's get some treats. Last time we was here. I'll put a picture up of exactly what we found. If you wanna have a look at that link, it should be in the top corner, depending on if you've got what apparatus you're using. But if not, I'll put a thumbnail up. If not, you can find it in my videos. It's a lovely Tuesday morning my day off work I was absolutely throwing it down and I wasn't going to come out because obviously we're on a stretch hence why I put my big jacket on but I think I'm going to be boiling in fact I know I am anyway we've got some bubbles coming up so it likes something down there doesn't it It likes something a lot. I don't know what it is, do we? Until it comes up. Mm. 
a bit of fence panel. There we are, nice bit of fence panel. Get that back in. There you go. First cast. I think when this video comes out, I've probably mentioned about my 24 hour magnet fishing event. Anybody's welcome. It'll be held in Manchester. And then we'll just take you from there. If not, I'll put some information up here. I'll put a link in the description to where you can find the details. something there doesn't it whether it's just flipping stones flipping treats might be a flipping treat you know file and that's the sort of stuff that should be around here from the mill Ooh, what's that so that ladies and gents and some of the stuff we're looking for and we'll have a look what that is hello again, hello again. get it in the middle there because it it likes something in the middle oh, it might just be thick with weed Definitely something there, isn't there? Definitely 100%. Big hefty plate. There we go. That could come from the railway, don't know. But we'll take it. The fish love it when uh, you churn all the bottom up. That's what they love. And I tell you what, we're definitely churning something here. So I don't know if you can see that, my, there's some bubbles coming. Jaws. Let's see what we have on the bottom of here. Hopefully, it's something we can recognise. If not, that's all part of the game, isn't it? found something else it likes hmm. 
we've got another fence panel. Yeah, they mustn't like them fence panels over there. There we go. Let's see what we've got here. Tubing, bit of fishing line and scrap. Something coming all the way from the other side. All the way from the other side. Hey, another one. Oh, it's another two. Wow, they don't like these round here, do they? Look at that, there's actually three. There we go. Three pieces. Of that fence. Right, we just got a solid piece of metal and a screw. Could be off a sash window away, you don't know. Unless it's part of that fence from the other side. So we find out. more pieces there we go three more pieces of fence to get rid of that which I ain't got a clue what it is that nope that ain't coming off and that bit and our first cheeky 2p
So we're going to remove our fence panels. <sighs> yeah, why not? Eh? Another one. Another one. Plastic bags can get over there. What we got here. See what we've got. I've bolt. I don't know what that is. Another bolt. Come on, a washer. Hold me back then. <laughs> right, more fence. Whew, that is heavy. Well, let me lift it this way. My, look at that. <sighs> All right, have a look at that compared to the others. We've got another. It's just a fence day today, isn't it? Just another fence piece. And we'll see what hitchhikers are on bottom. It's another part of a file. Another bolt. Smeg. Yeah, what we got here? this and that is is that some of them old like metal tongue things I 
don't know about the cable and this as well it's like a fidget spinner there we are, a bit of illuminati there jeez, let's get that washed let's get illuminati washed Yeah, I ain't got a clue what that is. Uh, a couple more bolts. We can get rid of them. And snag. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? We'll have a look at that. See what's on the bottom. We have. I ain't got a clue what that is. Smeg. Another fence pit. Why not? Uh, only got 70 million. That is. I ain't got a clue. But that's a washer. And that's a cheeky, sneaky penny. Tango. And some people won't get this, but cash. Tango and cash. Drop me a comment if you uh, remember that film. Right, we've got a bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt. There we go. I'm reckon a bit of fence. Yeah, why not? Eh? I can't add one for two minutes. Right, what we got? Don't know what that is. That's a bolt. That looks like a spoke off a bike. And then smeg. Yeah. Bit of metal. Smeg. Okay, what's this? <laughs> it's a disc lock for a, a car. Very random. Never found one like that before. I'm having that baby. Cool find. Well, let's see if we can wash this without no hitchhikers getting on. Who would that be there?
There we go. Slide lock, etc. Wow! Right. Look at our trolley now. Let's feel the weight of that. That'd be right. We can tie them round. Yeah, what we got? Bit of a corner. Something that's not going to come off easy. I don't think. It's going to be a fat leg on it. There you go. Yay! Another piece of fence. That is a thing in my bob. Smeg. Wow. Oh, we've got a metal pole. I'll go straight in there. That just goes in there. Stick. What is this? What is that? Let's give it a swish. I ain't got a clue what that is, unless it's something that was made in the mill. Well, I think this is our last straw now. We've got a mega journey ahead of us. And I've got to push all that back home. So, last chuck, reveal yourself. we found us a magnetic rock right that's our last chuck ladies and gents that can go in the bin right that's the cart loaded with everything there's a rubbish bag wow this is going to be some journey heavy as well right what a cracking hour and 20 minutes i had so um this is back on now and there's the big bit and there's the 15 pieces of fence. The reason why I'm filming this now is because this the fence part's going to scrap tomorrow. I think Colin's gonna jump up. There he is. Hello Colin. Not playing. Anyway we'll get on to the other clean up now. Alright, welcome to the clean up. Weird and wonderful things today that we found. So we'll just go over to this section here. And there's all the smeg bits. Big piece of metal there. With two holes in it at either end. A square bit. A bit of a handle. And then all the other little smeg bits. All the other big bits have gone for scrap, so thank you to PS Hall Scrap for collecting all my bits and pieces, my big stuff. Thank you very much, much appreciated. And you can find them in the description below, and I'll put a picture up here of the Facebook group. 
Right, let's have a look at some things here. Um, let's get a bit closer actually. Get a bit closer. Right, first of all, four pence of free money. This bit's like a, a blank that they cut out. I don't know why. But you always find these in canals, near factories. Whenever they do sheet metal work or other stuff, you always find these. I don't know what they're for. Right, we have one, two, three, four, five bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more little bolts, a little screw. Check this out. Got a minute of the sun. Check that out. That looks like it's out. Oh, it's been um, made that way. Should have been a bolt, but someone's put a little hacksaw bit in it. And made it so they can unscrew something. Oh, that's quite cool, that. I'll show you a couple of the bolts. Stubby one. You got this one. Always had a bit of a threaded bit on the end to put the bolt on. And that one with a smooth end. I don't know if these was anything to do with the fencing and um, part of machinery, so I don't know. But I'll get straight onto this one. The old mill and factory was made switch gear items and I'll put a couple of pictures up here so I'm not sure if this is part of the switch gear this was embedded there so I don't know if it is part of it or it just got lodged but then two come together that looks like it's brass so possibly from the old mill that cool and um, speaking of old mill because they did machinery and that we should find files like this thick files and obviously for metal work you can see the little teeth on there so there are a couple of bits of files so we're definitely on the right track with them. I don't know what this bit is. I know them a couple of washers. So these all could be from the factory. I can't see any other reason why they shouldn't. And we'll get onto that weird bit in a minute. Because that's the uh, weird part of the wonderful um, corner bit. With some holes in it. We could probably repurpose that or just scrap it. This uh, pre-cut arrow. Yeah, very weird. So whether that lived in something or it was cut for a purpose, I don't know. But we've got it out. Weird though. Thought this was part of another file, but it isn't. Just a piece of metal. Um, this is the same like circumference and width of a, an old sash window weight so we are coming across a few of them now so that's possibly for obviously the window side of things or maybe just used for weights in the factory and the mill um, just a bit of bar that thick solid piece right these things I need identifying right, what that is what that should be used for and I don't know if that's like it goes down like that because it's riv riveted if you know what I mean it clicks onto something hooks onto something and then sits there if you get me meaning um, this here this was just a clump of mass so it does go 
Um, as you can, I don't know if you can see it that way, but you can see it that way. Size of the hole there to compared to that. So as the sides go narrower as it goes down. And obviously, this Illuminati thing here. Probably for pipes that, but same again as this here. You know, so whether they marry together somehow, or possibly. I don't know. Like that. Um, but that goes narrower as it goes down as well. As you can see with that one. Right. This here. I thought at first, bear with me, don't laugh. I thought at first it was some sort of salad tongue. You know, that you used to pick your salad up. No. Closer inspection. And Mrs. B figured this one out. Um, they're actually birthing forceps. Yeah, I, I ain't got a clue why they're there. But they look really, really old. They are nickel plated. I know you can't really see it because I haven't had a chance to tidy them up that much. But what you'll do is, obviously you'll hold that part or that part, I think it's that part there. And then you place it around the baby's head in the birth canal. And then obviously you have a, another one here that you place round and then you connect it there. And then lock it into place. And obviously that's for... That's your grip there, as you can see. So all this is metal, but as you can see there, it has got like a bit of a shiny bit there. So whether that's copper under, I don't know. I have come across a picture of these similar, I think they're called Simpson, something Simpson forceps. I will put the proper name up and that, and I'll show you a picture of what I think these are are very similar and the ones in the picture are dated um, late 1800s so we could have something here that it's the oldest thing that I've ever found up to now the oldest thing I've found was that revolver and that was 1894 I think it was dated the Bulldog revolver I'll put a picture up here but that be the oldest thing I've ever found if it is the Simpson forceps or whatever name I'm gonna put it now because I forgot it so there you go ladies and gents so we're gonna get them babies cleaned up hopefully it's got a marking or a name stamped here if it is the the side where it has been stamped if not I'm going to send a picture of them obviously to a few places on the internet and I look like a thumb in my shadow don't I look anyway so there you go ladies and gents thank you for coming along on this journey we are getting close and close and close to obviously finding a lot more stuff from that mill but why they're there I ain't got a clue but last but not least over here is the disc lock very very random um, obviously it's modern so you can see it yep disc lock thatcham sold secure I will put some pictures up here because it is a bit awkward you have got the locking system up here obviously minus a key because it's been jibbed open There you go ladies and gents, so we could have something, oh there goes a bolt, modern and old, so thank you for the weird, weird and wonderful part of the series that we have here, so take care everyone, we will be doing more along that section and hopefully bringing out more history like that, but I'm absolutely chuffed to bits if that is 1800s, look forward to the journey.
right you beauts so if you like what you see with the magnets accessories all you need to do is head over to www.magnetstore.co.uk click on fishing magnets and you've got a vast amount of magnets to choose from professional kits or accessories so pick which one you like add to cart go to the checkout enter my code patriot10 click apply coupon and then what you'll see your buttes is you'll have a 10% discount knocked off your order Yeah, I know that I hope I'll be your destination 